So the Red Sox took care of business yesterday, just barely, and won the 2017 AL East title, and now they head into the playoffs where they will be playing the same team they're playing right now, the Houston Astros, down in Houston starting next Thursday. So, of course I'm excited by the notion of more Red Sox playoff baseball. Last year's series was so short, and who knows how long this one will be, but um, Red Sox are playing the Astros, and um, what, are they, what do I think of their playoff chances? Eh... That's pretty much all I can say from a team that has been good, but not necessarily remarkable. I mean, yes, they won the AL East, but I mean, they should have wrapped it up a lot sooner than this. I mean, a lot sooner. There were plenty of times this season where they were five or six games ahead of the Yankees, and then they would let them back into the race, and to the point where it looked like there might have to be a tiebreaker just to determine the division. So, yes, they won the division. Good job, guys. But just kind of like last year, they're going into the playoffs really weak. And basically in the playoffs, it comes down to who is, you know, hot at the moment. And it's certainly not the Red Sox. You know, even if they win today's game, you know, they, they've lost like four of their last six. They're, you know, they beat the Astros yesterday. That was good. But they got smoked by them a couple nights ago and they, you know, lost a close game to them. So, I mean, this postseason could bring anything. You know, the Red Sox offense hasn't exactly been a force to be reckoned with all year. Although they do have a few 20 home run hitters and they have guys who, you know, get on base so, in the, play, in the playoffs, that's really all you need. You don't necessarily need a bunch of 30 home run hitters, although it's nice to have, like the Indians and Astros, but we're going to see. You know, we're going to see what's going to happen, and I'm, I'm going to do a rant in a future time about the entire postseason picture, because I think this is really a very interesting postseason. And going into the season, you know, the Red Sox were big, you know, favorites to win the World Series because they got Chris Sale. And Chris Sale's been really good, but unfortunately you haven't had that one-two combo of Chris Sale and David Price pretty much all year. Uh, Price was back for about a month. Now he's in the bullpen. So we'll see what that brings. Again, the postseason, you know, it could be a really long postseason run, or they could be out in three games again. You really don't know. I think the Astros are a better team on paper, and certainly by record in terms of everything they've accomplished this year. I think the Astros have a better offense. I think the Red Sox have a better rotation, but... Again, anything could happen. You know, Chris Sale could have a bad game. Uh, Pomeranz could have a bad game. And you still don't know who's starting in Game 3. You would think maybe Porcello, but does that make you feel good? He was pretty awful last year in the playoffs, Porcello. So, you don't know. At the same time, you know, Sale could be awful and one of those other pitchers could really step up. Or maybe a hitter steps up like Bradley or somebody you're not expecting to deliver a big hit. So, that's why the postseason is exciting. But, you know, if you had to ask me right now, do I think the Red Sox will win the series against the Astros? I don't think they will. I hope they do. Uh, I'd like to see them at least get to the ALCS for a little more excitement. But we'll see what happens. We'll see if they get out of the first round playing a team that I think is better. I think that this team is better than the Indians team they played last year, who was still really good. But I think this Astros team has a lot of young talent, a lot of good established hitters as well, and a good enough pitching staff. I mean, they do have Verlander and Keuchel. Let's not say they don't have anybody. They do have a good pitching staff, and they have, you know, maybe the bullpens are one weakness, but even the bullpen's not that bad. Giles is a pretty good closer. So the Astros have the Red Sox in almost every category. The Red Sox have the best pitcher in the series with Sale, so we'll see how far that takes them. But, again, still a while to go. Next week the postseason starts. Going to kind of try to enjoy this moment as the Red Sox are playing what's essentially a meaningless game right now, a regular season game to finish it out. They've already clinched the division just barely. So, you know, Red Sox from the playoffs, what are your thoughts? Will they beat the Astros? We'll have to find out next week. Of course, I'll be here watching it all. Let's check it out.